it's John and Mike, BrewDashNews.com. I've got myself a little piece of paper here. Today, we are doing a video talking about specialty grains, and we're doing a tasting review. Uh, we're doing of the uh, unmalted variety. These grains are specifically flaked grains. And what I did was I, I brewed uh, three oh, identical shoot. beers. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, have Mike taste these three beers. One has flaked oats in it. Another has flaked wheat in it. And another has flaked barley in it. And I'll tell you more about these beers as Mike tastes the beers. So, like I said, three beers, all one gallon batches. Same process for each beer, including mash procedure. Ooh, no sparge. Brew in a bag. One hour at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 66 degrees Celsius. We did a 60 minute boil. The hop schedule was the same for all three. Columbus hops at 60 minutes, mosaic and flame out. No dry hopping, just kettle hops. Uh, the yeast was Safe Ale US 05 American Ale yeast. Uh, and it was fermented, all three beers were fermented for two weeks at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. They were all forced carbonated. And uh, now we talk about the grain bill. We have 75% uh, base malt, 25% flake grain so the, uh, the the base malt was great western pale ale and then 25% uh, of the grain bill was flake grains it was either barley wheat or oats flaked all flaked all flaked no malted just mm -hmm. flaked but that 75 base malt 25% flaked grain bill. I think 25% is a good choice right yeah we talked about it's it. a pretty good like, number I mean I was like all right well how much is gonna make a uh, a difference that you could taste and then and Mike I haven't I don't want Mike to guess which is which because I think that's just silly I'd, I'd rather you just tell me like which one you like the most or like what mouthfeel you know the overall impression do you like just just as a as a one person's opinion man um, I can detect subtle difference you could, could. <laughs> um, it's subtle though yeah. um, it's subtle I think two Two is the softest. Okay. Three is the sweetest. Sweet. Um, and one is. Um, this is just this word is relative to the other two. The harshest. It's the more huh. robust. I, I, robust. It's not harsh. I shouldn't say it's harsh. It's a really bad choice. Okay. But I think I, I need. It's that the too. most full. Full. Okay. It's the most full. Um, the mouthfeel in all of them is 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 like s just sort of hovering in the medium body. Yeah. Medium low body. Um, uh, yeah. I think I like two the most. It's the smoothest. It's the softest. It's really mm. pleasant. It's actually helping my palate recover from the Columbus, which is interesting, <laughs> yeah. right? That yeah, the yeah. hops are even... Yeah. It's just a, a bittering tragic Columbus? Yes. Okay. Because, interestingly, um, when I first smelt it, I thought for sure you had some sort of like Motuica or something in here, because mm. there's a lot of fruity character. Well, that's the mosaic. Um, yeah. Oh, so there's a, there's a mosaic yes. in there. All right. So, right. Columbus, so it's Columbus and the mosaic. And mosaic. So it comes across almost the same, and that's really pleasant, but that Columbus hit... I mean, really drowns out the yeah. the flavor profile of mosaic. Um, yeah, the, I think the aroma comes through a little bit more in three than it does in the other ones. Um, I guess my favorite is two. Two. If I was going to guess, though, go ahead. If I was going to guess, yeah, I'm going to say that it's bar. One is barley. Okay. Two is oats, and three is wheat. Okay, you're wrong on all three, but that's okay. Okay, okay. Like, good, okay. good, I didn't good. want you to guess. I just right. want, I wanted to guess. Number see. one is flaked oats. The one you think mm. is the most robust and like the the one that's yeah, yeah, yeah. bringing a lot, that's flaked oats. It's got the bigger, hmm, round, I, I feel like the base malt character stands out more okay. here. Number two, the one you like the most, flaked wheat. That's a good thing though, actually. I love wheat beers, so. There you go. And then, you know, the last one is process, the barley process of elimination. Flaked barley, number three. Yeah. Mm. 
Now my own, my experiences with flaked barley is usually buried underneath a bunch of roasted malt, mm. right? Like in a dry stout yeah. or in any type of stout, really. Yeah. It's the only real experience I've had with flaked barley. I don't really add it to anything else. I have a lot of experience with flaked wheat. I make a lot of well, the wheat in general, wheat malt, but flaked wheat, maybe not so much flaked wheat. Mm. Um, huh. What do you think of the three? Um, I was really pulling for number one. Uh-huh. Mm. This is one and three. Because that, I, the thing is, my brain's telling me like, well, you're supposed to be detecting some one, slickness there with the oats. Two. But I, I think one is what I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. think there's like an oat two and three. Sitch, but I, the thing is, if you put these three beers in front of me and you didn't tell me what they were, I don't think I would have been able to pick yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, there is a subtle color difference going on in one, two, three, getting darker in that order. I do. To me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I do agree with. Which actually makes sense then. If that's oats. Yep. I mean, I sort of let my mind think that that was, but this is flaked wheat and my mind was telling me usually malted wheat tends to be a little bit darker than base malt. Yeah, it's right? all, so it's all Especially flaked. if you get red wheat, right? But it's, yeah. um, so yeah. It's all flaked. <laughs> yep. Uh, I do agree with your assessment with number two. Like it is the softest. I think that, you know, yeah, yeah, compared, yeah. now I don't know how they all stand up in a uh, beer that's more complex in its grain bill, but yeah. of the three, I do, I agree. So I, I can definitely say this, based on this experiment, I won't be adding flaked barley <laughs> to an IPA anytime soon, right? Because it's just what I, at least in a New England IPA, I want a combination. I want that, the, the sort of that slightly more sweetness, the, the, the this one's just a little more inviting yeah. on the palate. Um, and this one has got a little bit more of a, there's a fullness to it. Maybe I'm at, maybe that's what I'm picking up is, yeah. is that oaty silkness. What, what you supposedly get from oats. Now, now, now that I'm saying that right now, I didn't say that before, and I didn't, the word never even entered my mind when I was tasting them, because I've always really been challenged, even like an oatmeal stout, to think that like, oats really are silky. Mm. I, I just don't necessarily, I think, I think the high degree of specialty malts in the beer with some oats, right? Yeah. In, a, in an oatmeal stout gives you that roundness it exemplifies the roundness of the other stuff, right? I don't know. Yeah. It's just, it's funny. I think that uh, of all the three of them, you know, and it's, it's, if there is a reason why, you know, the wheat beers are a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yep. like number two. That's it. Um, yep. I will say that for the record, my New England style IPAs uh, have a combination of oats and wheat. Yep, that's or, classic. Yep. That's what I do too. And if I don't have flaked wheat, I'll just double down on the oats. Just because they're... Yeah, I think that's perfectly legit. More readily available to me. Um, now, what's interesting is most of the time, I think probably all the time, that I've done a New England IPA, it's flaked oats and malted wheat. Ah. Or torrefied wheat. Yeah. If I have it, right? And I, I used to have a ton of it, so I was getting rid of it. Um, but never flaked wheat. So this is interesting from that standpoint. Now, another interesting thing is uh, like wit beer, like classic Belgian wit is base malt, Pilsner, um, wheat, and some oats, a little bit of oats, so mm. a little bit of common, you know, mm. it's the original New England IPA without the hops. Um, don't, don't, don't write it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. What are you saying? I know, <laughs> but um, yeah, usually a good, a good classic wit, yeah. you know, has got a touch of oats in there for that smoothness and then just just a last thing and just yep. this could be just a weird perception of mine but like the the hop character in the flake barley one yes is different when i first went through them i noted that too i thought at first i thought it was the strongest yeah yeah and i don't know what that is that could be a again yeah. A process thing. Yes, I, I, I try to phase keep, of the moon. Yeah, yeah, I try to keep as many variables. Yeah, uh, the same as possible. Like I said, like fermentation temps. Yeah, you know all of that stuff. I mean, I don't. But it was the third one of, of the like I brewed them in order. All right, so <laughs> one, I will two, I will say this. I will say this. Oats yeah. and wheat have got a significantly higher protein content than roasted barley. 
Flake barley. Flake bar yep. barley. Yep. Oats and wheats have higher protein content than barley. Than barley. Okay. So it's conceivable then that you're creating more protein, hot polyphenol Ooh. combinations in these two beers that settled out a little bit and reduced your the hop nose, which is why the hop nose is a little stronger here. That's science. Ooh. Ooh. Well, look at you. It's not like you're a scientist or anything. I know. I, I'm just guessing. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our big experiment comparison. That's fun. Isn't that fun? Love it. Uh, this was something that was suggested by a viewer, and I'm glad that I, it was put on the list and uh, we got to it, <laughs> as we do. Yeah. You know, it nice. might, might take us, you know, five years, but we get to it. Uh, this one, it was a uh, much much shorter period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is probably within the last year. Yeah. Well, we're good. We're working through the list. We're working through the list. Okay. So hopefully you got something out of this. I think that the big tips are, you know, of course, you, you always want to experiment. But if you uh, watch YouTube and you're like, oh, I wonder what people are saying about different flake grains. Uh, note that these two dudes thought that uh, certainly, you know, when it came to comparing. Now, of course, I could have, like, if I had more vessels, I should have done, like, rye flake could i do a flake flake yeah rye? flaked rye would have been a cool yeah addition well, i well, just thought these were the three that i brew with them when most. you're doing these things like doing more than three is a challenge yeah. to get the True. right you know so so just know that these dudes we thought that uh certainly the flaked wheat made for a very nice beer uh followed by oats and then flake barley if you want to rank yeah stack them. the flake barley just needs a truckload of roasted barley in there <laughs> you need something else <laughs> To like it just it's good but it's not as great yeah, as the yeah. other two so if you're if you're building recipes if you're building up beers if you're wondering like all right what what's you know going to bring um you know i don't know more body just a, a softer you know yeah to what me is it? to me i don't know if it's i don't i don't know if it's really body it's just more of like a presentation yeah i think it's just presentation on the palate you know, I mean, oh, I guess you'd want maybe yeah. you want to call that body, but it just none of these these beers don't seem to be jumping around body wise to me, and they don't seem like it'd be all that different with like a hundred percent base malt. I just think that there's a there's a presentation quality that's very subtle, yeah, no, noticeable, noticeably. You know. I'll, I'll I'll pull that that comment back because I think these are much different than the smash beers that I'm I'm brewing. Okay, yeah, for sure, yeah, I agree. You know, I think I that like those are fairly thin when as yeah. compared. Okay, you know what? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Just good, good point. Good put point. that out. Yep. Um, but the wheat, that was good. That was a good one. Uh, so if you're like looking just to add some just one, that would go with wheat. Yeah. Then oats. All wheat all the time. Yeah. And flake farm. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully you like this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to our channel because we do these types of experiment, you know, a lot. Um, not always, but certainly we get around to them. Comment on other experiments. Yes, right. comment and, and leave something below. Uh, for John and Mike, brewdashuse.com. Brew on. Cheers.